All pause for the greatest 90s theme of all time. That's kind of a tall claim to make, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. to be a school? Well, you have a childhood now. Congratulations, Sam. I finally watched a bit of the magic school bus. Things happen that couldn't happen in a million years. Like that. Not. But I'm sure you can tell the difference between what's real and what It's a very cynical dragon. Click around and see what happens. And if you need help, click on me. Liz, that's what I'm here for. Get it? It's because she's a lizard? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, Liz. I thought she said whiz because nah, she's Liz. magic. And then this is Miss Frizzle, aka the Frizz. So it's not at all confusing. Okay. So, welcome to the Magic School Bus Explores the Solar System. I think this was the first <laughs> Magic School Bus game they ever made. Wow. I like how they've named all the kids. It's like, these are important characters who you will grow to love and or hate over the course of this journey. I always want to be this kid. I mean, look at him. He's got a baseball cap and he was playing like a Game Boy or something uh, in the intro. It's just like, yeah. he's the cool one. That probably. is 90s, though. My, I remember having my old Game Boy. It's glorious. So 90s. I never had a paddle with a ball on a string thing. I never had one of those. But So this is one of those nice things where everything is really interactive in the room. We play a lot of games like that. Look at that. Papa does the same thing, but it's just it's just really charming, and yeah. I love this kind of game. Yeah. So, it's been over 15 years since I've played this, so I'm not going to remember everything about it. It's fine, we're here to learn. Yeah. We're here to learn about the solar system. Yeah. Unfortunately, because this came out such a long time ago, a lot of it's a little inaccurate. Ah, uh, yes. Pluto. Yeah, it, it might be, mightn't it? Oh dear, oh... In memoriam. Oh, poor Pluto. Arnold, you <laughs> just F the fail. Damn it, Arnold. <laughs> Why can't you see into the future of astro astronomy or astrology? Uh, astronomy. Ast yeah, it is. At a glance. It's really small because you don't have a super camera yet. Oh, it's oh, it's one of those games where it reads out the text to you when you say it, I see. Oh, okay. So... Well, oh, come on. That, <laughs> that is a very recent photo. Or an artist's impression. <laughs> Actually, it's not far off when you think about it. Mm, but there's not the giant heart on it or anything. No, either. no. Oh, disappointing. But, you know, if an artist back in the 90s had drawn a heart on Pluto, it would just be like, oh no, we're not going to use that. That's stupid. Oh, I'd love it if this got remade today. Why do I want to go to Pluto? On Pluto, I'd be light as a bird, and a bird would be light as a feather. That's because Pluto is so small and light, it doesn't have much gravity. <laughs> Fair enough, that's some good logic right there. <laughs> Can you even breathe on Pluto? I very much doubt it. Well... That mm, poor bird. Well, look, lizard spacesuit, so... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Cool facts. Ooh, but then again, is it even claiming that Pluto is a planet at any oh, point so far? We might have found our workaround. Ah. It's got a moon. Let me see. Scientists don't even know for sure what Pluto looks like, but they know Pluto and its moon Sharon are about the same size. No, I enough. did not know that. Pluto See, I'm is learning. so far away that the sun would look like a star from there. But the sun is a star. Stupid child. <laughs> F. <laughs> Damn it, Arnold. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's fantastic. 
So this is like, how old are these kids? Six? Um, the, I guess the, I'm going this to go with... This, this school is not really a school. Having worked as a teaching assistant for a while, I will say they do look about six or seven. Yeah. He ate my lunch! That is your lunch. Arnold! Oh, that's Arnold! He's kind of the dorky one who uh, just wants... He wants the peaceful field trip. It'd just be a normal field trip. The friends no. Wow, that kid's magic. They're all magic. My book exploded! <laughs> is that a... What was that? Oh, it's a yo-yo. Oh, there, wow, you? it's a yo-yo! Were you there during the yo-yo craze of the 90s? Um... My school was too small to have crazes. We were like a year late for Pokemon. We never had Digimon. Uh, we had the Game Boy craze, but we didn't have a yo-yo craze. Oh, I think things got banned in our school really quickly. <laughs> um, most likely someone got hit in the face with a yo-yo, or someone had their Pokemon cards stolen. We just didn't have fun things. <laughs> oh, that's a pity. We used to just kick a football at the younger children. It's, it's, it was a rite of passage. One thing you can do is you click on this like globe, and then it gives you these most definitely not real planets to interact with. Um, yeah, that one looks like one of those squidgy balls you throw in a wall. I mean, this is as far as I got when I was testing the game to record it. Okay. Oh. Make all the that noises. That is not a planet. That is a Death Star. Look at it. It's just waiting to fire an Alderaan. Well, our work here is done. <laughs> That's very depressing. Wait, what's that? It's Scaly. It's Liz's homeworld. What is the, what is that? Is that a I I did Is that a strawberry? I did not come across this last time. It's a strawberry butterfly or something. Huh. What are we doing? Nuking the surface? Oh, God, oh that's see. depressing. Oh well, see, look, it it goes underneath the blue things. Uh, trap it. <laughs> no escape from this planet for you, pretty thing. I don't know. This is... Our worker is done. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm trying to remember the really, like, bizarre one I came across. Might be the one with the spikes. We should try that out next. That There's... one looks like a bouncy ball. Like one of those really bouncy balls you throw away and lose down a drain. Oh, what the... The atmosphere of this planet is comprised of 20% oxygen and 10% LSD. I really, really want to know what the people at Microsoft Kids were thinking when they made this one section. It's like, oh, we'll just make planets and the kids can look at the pretty colours. Just throw keywords out there. Colourful. Vibrant. Educational. Trippy. Nah, screw that. Fake planets, that's where it's all at. <laughs> I love this one, it just looks like it's been drawn by children. Sir, my kid has something he'd like to offer to the project. Yeah, throw it in. So, you can click all of these, and I have not been able to get it to really do anything. Huh. Pop, pop. Oh, it's got it's a bubble planet! Bubble wrap simulator. Nice. Yeah, do you know they're making bubble wrap now that won't pop, no matter how hard you press? Oh, well, that's, that's tragic. That is tragic. But apparently it's really good for packing stuff. Which is not the point of bubble wrap. Aww. Uh. Oh, that one has got a vicious orbit. <laughs> Look at that. If I lived on this planet, I'd be ejected into space at 300 miles an hour. This is why I do not want to live on this planet. <laughs> on the other hand, we could turn it into a theme park! Juicing drawings. Oh, I see. It's, uh, it's like constellations. Oh, that was the dipper. That one is just a... Oh, that's the dipper. That's the dipper. Some of these aren't even constellations. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you an astronomer? No, you're not. So let the magic school bus educate you. It's like a claw. Whoa. So that's a... I don't know, some weird... It's where constellations come from. Parallel black hole kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I think we've been on this one. Have we? It's the um, spotted one. Oh, right, With yeah. the strawberry butterfly. Let us, um, let us never speak of strawberry butterfly land again. Okay, so I believe we're just missing this one. This Maybe. was the one I think I wanted to show you. Okay. <laughs> oh, first contact. Okay. <laughs> this music. 
It's like someone tried to make a remix of a police siren. No earthly way, no. <laughs> the rowers keep on rowing. Uh, and there's no, no signs of slowing. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is, I want to know who made this. I want to meet them. I have so much to learn from them. Wow, this is all the... Please stop that. Okay, I just realised it's got eyes. I don't want to know about the weird tripod ball thing. Okay, enough of exploring the LSD galaxy. Let us go and explore an actual solar system. Because yeah. this game kind of has a plot. Okay. So... Is this just like a we'll go wherever the mood takes us, or did she plan it? Um. Aren't you guys ready yet? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so many questions about this field trip that will come up. Just so many questions. Yeah. It's like. Where are we going anyway? Education is one thing. Oh god, it's alive! It's got eyes and everything. It's magic. And wing. Oh. Doesn't look comfortable. This would be an expensive field trip, especially at our school. Like, can you imagine what they would charge the parents for rocket fuel? It'd be a nightmare. Our planet looks a little fuzzy. Sure, just uh, miss the moon. Now we only have enough air for 20 minutes, children. Oh god! Oh no! We've lost our frizzle coins! <laughs> Are we Sonic? <laughs> Did we just lose our rings? Where's the frizz? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Wahoo! It's beautiful out here! Come and find me! Just play the games on the planets and moons and win tokens. With each token you find, I'll give you a clue. You only get three. If you think you figured out where I am, use the frizz finder to call me. If it's closed, use another token to open it. See you soon on some planet or moon. Oxygen deprivation does crazy things to a person. So, literally, after they arrived in space, Miss Frizzle just decided, I'm going to go hide on one of the planets. Come find me, children. <laughs> you know how to operate the magic school bus space station. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. That. Okay. Let's see. Click on the planet. Oh, hey, Liz. I thought you were a sock puppet. That's weird. You wanna visit. Wanna see a report? Choose one by clicking on the monitor buttons. And just click on a picture to see a report. To call the ever-loving Ms. Frizzle, just click on the Frizz Finder. To get out of the bus when it lands somewhere, click on the door. You're out of there. Already got three clues, but spot another token? Just put the token in the slot to start the Frizz Finder. If you don't already have three clues, grab a token when you see one. Then you can stick it in the slot to get another clue. Um, I feel so bad for this goldfish. <laughs> Why is there a goldfish in a bus? Good question. And how often does Miss Frizz go missing that they had to put in a Frizz Finder? <laughs> Do these kids know how to drive just from, like, the sheer number of times they've been abandoned? Based upon, like, the setup of the bus and the coins being spread out across the planet, she very clearly planned this entire yeah. thing. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna go properly Lord of the Flies in here pretty soon, I think. <laughs> so all the reports are kind of listed all over the place. Oh, how cool would it be if it was like I was on Earth all along at children. the bar, <laughs> <laughs> having a drink because I'm sick of all of you. <laughs> no, Miss Frizzle would never be sick of anyone. She is simultaneously the <laughs> coolest and most irresponsible teacher, and those often go hand in hand, unfortunately. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's start by going to the moon. Okay. Uh, I, I. There's my lunch! Curse is outwitted by a children's game. I think you yet just again. have to click on the picture. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's how you access the chart. Okay. Okay. So we are at Earth right now. Wow! And let us go to the moon. What are the chances of all the planets being on the same side of the sun? It's crazy. Uh, like, <laughs> orbits differ a lot. That is actually very improbable. Interesting fact, Pluto, since it was discovered by humans, has not even made a single year in terms of its orbit. Oh. 
It's all this freaking huge. I can't remember how many years it is, but it's just so far away. Look how cool this all is. These FMVs and things. Neil, are you still out here? Good God. <laughs> Alternate history. We gotta rescue him. <laughs> the US government just left me here. <laughs> oh no. You need to make sure the flag doesn't fall down. Can we interact? Oh, we can't interact with the surface of the moon from in here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, I think the okay. kids are pretty cool with the whole thing, really. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah, yeah. They found a book on the moon. They found a book on the moon. This is the Crater Creator Science Experiment. Craters are big holes made by meteors when they crash on a planet or moon and explode. Use a slingshot to make a crater on the moon. Go ahead. Click on the slingshot, the green band, or the meteor. But then we're on the, on the moon. Then click on the finger to let her fly. Blast them! Come on, kids. Knock the moon out of orbit. It'll be fun! Yeah! Tidal destruction across the entire world. God, kind of a frame rate drop there. A little bit, yeah. Uh, can we drag this, or is it just... Oh, oh change the size. Boom! That's cool. Oh, I get it. Maybe we click on this to adjust angle or something. You've uncovered a vault! Wait. I see. Yeah, it's like... Ooh. Okay, I think that's enough of ruining the moon. Yeah. How cool would it be to have just a slingshot in space? Let's see what the kids have to say about this. Hey, this isn't green cheese! How could you smell it? You're wearing a space helmet. Shh, 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 shh. There are, there are olfactory nerve receptors on the outside of his suit. God, Check honestly. Earth is just beautiful from. Bye. Never to be seen again. Oh, there he is. Tim. Bye. God damn it. You okay? In some places, moon dust is fifty feet deep. See, I'm learning. Didn't know that. So I, am, I am suspicious. Why is there so much dust on the moon? This is clearly the best educational game ever made. Yeah. You know what the moon reminds me of? Pizza? No, I think of Phoebe, the Greek goddess of the moon. She's a hunter. Oh boy, he's thinking about food all the time. Is that? That's take out. My daydreams wreck your daydreams. <laughs> I'm also. I'm We're also, on the moon, but I'm still going to find a way to ruin your day. I'm also very impressed that their knowledge vastly surpasses mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, considering their they've, age. They've done a lot of research. I've just noticed the signpost out in space that just says moon. In case you forget where you are. Okay, so they play oh. platforming Go ahead. games. Use the space bar to jump. Run okay. left or right by pressing on the arrow key. Whoa. Oh. Click on the okay, use your blast. You want for now. You can try again later. So oh, violence in this, just very slow falling. Why do you need a platform when you can jump as high as the top of the screen? So Talk was... about floaty controls. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's all, folks. Um. Let's just take it slow, it's no rush or anything. We are running out of air, I'd like to point out. There is a stat for that for some reason. Is it wrong that I kind of want to see what a suffocation animation looks like in a children's game? Yes, and yes. <laughs> I asked one question. And look what it got you. Wait! Uh, I can't actually see where we are. Ah. Oh goodness. 